it's vlogmas day 12 i think i missed i missed yesterday's vlogmas because i just missed it i'm doing so much stuff guys what i'm gonna do though is i know that's the second vlogmas day that i missed i'm just gonna extend the vlogmas in other words whatever days i missed i'm gonna definitely <laughs> do two more or whatever it is hopefully i don't miss any more so i don't have too much more to do but um yeah i just took dance class today virtual dance class um and i'm just so happy because like i've been it's been really really good cardio for me and i'm finally releasing that corona extra pounds that came on i'm pretty sure like a lot of people who know like who don't work out um, <laughs> they experienced um, weight gain like when they did, you know, started staying home during Corona. Only those who like were dedicated, go hard, die hard people who go to the gym all the time, they was good. I'm not one of those people. I don't like gyms. I like natural exercise, like walking, like my lifestyle normally was an on the go lifestyle. Like I walk everywhere. I live in New York City. Um, like I was constantly walking, being out and about dancing and stuff like that so that always helped me to keep you know my body in check as well as my diet i'm plant-based and i watch what i eat but after covid it's like I, st I still watched what i ate but i think the fact that i wasn't as mobile so yeah right now i am taking old nail polish off of my toes i am doing a homemade pedicure and I'm like let me vlog because honestly like yesterday I went through the whole day like I was doing stuff for um like my products you guys know I have two businesses my lip gloss business which I, which I just launched and it's a lot of work guys promoting doing products keeping up with the website keeping up with orders and then my other Etsy shop business which has my hair accessories and stuff like that like sometimes i get so caught up doing that that i'm just like oh my goodness i forgot to vlog or i don't want to vlog or i don't have energy to vlog but i made the commitment so and we don't have that many more days to go i'm gonna do my best to see if i can get out to go take you guys to rockefeller center and other places in new york because i know like a lot of you have asked me so many questions about new york city and again if any of you are thinking of traveling here whenever you're able to travel because i know some people are not traveling during this time um you know just send me a message and i'll be happy to you know just give you advice on like hotels um sightseeing things like that depending on what you like to do because yeah so that's what i'm doing now i'm gonna go make me a smoothie <laughs> the outfit that i have on this is actually like i was in a showcase um a while back well, not that far back but um and the wardrobe was army fatigue but i just didn't know like what i wanted to wear so i bought a whole bunch of different types of army fatigue and i didn't end up going with this one but it's such a cute, it's a onesie, and look what it has on the back. I don't know if you guys can see. So I'm like, a lot of my clothes that um that I'm not wearing outside because I would not, I would normally wear this like to dance or um yeah, like I have clothes designated for dance class and on my way to dance class, on my way from there. I know it sounds weird, but when you dance a lot, like you tend to just realize that you should have a separate set of clothes for dance class, going to and coming from dance class. That way you don't mess up your regular clothes. But yeah, and then you, you'll be good. You have your set of clothes, but yeah. So a lot of my clothes like became loungewear or stuff that I had for dance, but now I'm not going out to the physical studio like I'm like okay get like some one some of my like nighttime clothes um sleepwear got messed up and old then I'm like oh I could wear this as loungewear like around the house all right so I'm done taking off the polish I'm gonna go do my toes off camera and I'll come back and show you what they look like later on but I just wanted to show you that 
So guys, my new lip glosses are being released today. In a little while, I'm gonna go back on the site and put them up for you, but I have showed you guys. This one is the Cacao Chocolate. This one is the Nude Lips. This one is Princess Pink. This one is Sassy Pink. And this one, it'll be up by the time you see it. It was inspired by Michael Jackson. It's like really, really sparkly. And it's called Billie Jean. Yes, Billie Jean. So if you hear anybody else with Billie Jean lip gloss, they just know that I came up with it first, okay? Now this one is a mocha one, but it's not up yet because I'm still working on the formula. I don't really, really like it. So I'll sample some for you right now so you can see. Let me move this camera closer. So the lighting should be good and I have this covering me up because I'm about to use polish, but I guess I can put this down here. Okay, I'll sample the cacao chocolate one. Do I? I don't have, let me get some tissue. Got cotton balls, let's use a cotton ball. Okay, so this is the cacao chocolate. So you get to see, see that? And you can put as much as you like. I love this one. So that's the cacao chocolate and it's a nude color. It goes on really smooth. It's really hydrating and moisturizing because it's infused with lovely oils and it smells so yummy. I made sure I put a scent in it that's soft and light but it smells yummy. And I don't want to take it off but I want to show you some of the others. So I'll take it off. I think this is one of my favorites, the cacao chocolate. Again. Okay, so. And just to show you, see? It is scented. It's more tinted than the first ones that I had out. If you are if you want something more tinted, you're going to go with this set of glosses that I have. And you'll be able to differentiate that when you go on my website because you read the description. It, read the description. If it says um, tinted, that's like lightly. You'll see a color, but it's mostly glossy and it has a tint. If you see pigmented, then you know it has more color in it. And it's still glossy, but it has more co co color. I don't know why I can't talk today. More color, more pigment. I'm not gonna edit that out. Cause normally, like, I be like <laughs> editing out stuff because I don't know. Okay, so this one is the sassy pink because you see, this is my favorite color too, pink. And look, it's like a hot pink, so I called it sassy pink. See. And you definitely see the pigment in this one. I love this. And it's brown skin girl friendly. Yes, it is. See, it's more pigmented. So that's my sassy pink. I don't want to take any of them off. They feel so good on your lips, guys, because they're moisturized with, um, let me get another cotton ball. They're moisturized with um, coconut oil, sweet almond oil. Okay, so this is the princess pink. It's brighter than the sassy pink, if you can see. And these are gonna come in the silver tubes. So we're doing the princess pink. It's a brighter oh goodness I love this and the smell too I really have a good feeling about these nudes because I noticed that a lot of people like nudes so I think it's going to be a wonderful addition oh god it would be on my face should have got some tissue so this is the princess pink. It's a brighter, lighter, but you definitely see pigment. I love 
bed. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Who falls in my foot there? Good floss. Okay. So this one is nude lips because it's a nude color. So duh, nude, nude lips. See that? So it's like a soft, almost like pink. And you can build it. So the more you put, hold on. Okay, the more you put, the more pigmented it'll be. So yeah, this is the nude, but I still, I'm looking for a pink, like a light, light baby pink. I still have not been able to do that yet, but I'm working on it, guys. I'm work I love this one too, though. Um, And then I'll do the Billie Jean, but this one is not the pigmented. This one is not as silver as the, is this the Billie Jean? Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> I have other clear ones too. I'm like, which one is this one? Okay, so this one is the Billie Jean, but again, like I told you, I made another one which is more pigmented, like like more gray. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the sparkle, but we'll try anyway. Let me see it, my mirror. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, you're able to see it. I have my ring light here and then the light from my vanity here. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for that. So I'm going to finish up my toes and then I'm going to go make a smoothie. I'll come back. I'll show you the smoothie that I make today. I'm not sure what I'm going to make, but we're going to do this together. Bloody hey guys. Style. So I'm eating my smoothie bowl. I just finished making it. Mmm. Look, it's so good. It's, um, banana... I'm trying to remember. It's banana cherries. Similar to the ones you saw me do in the beginning. I don't think I did anything to this banana cherries. Um, and I didn't have any coconut milk. So what I did was just took water and put bananas and blended it. So that kind of became like a banana milk. And then I put more frozen banana, frozen cherries. And then, um, you know, the sunflower seeds, the pumpkin seeds. Oh, I put peanut butter and um cacao nibs this is one of my favorites that's why i make it a lot but i'm gonna start making some more green i just made a mess here i'm gonna start making some more green smoothies because um i haven't done them in a while and yeah but i've been doing really really good with my eating and my exercise really really good like i think i already released about eight pounds so that's really, really good. And um, it's just because I started moving more. It didn't really have much to do with my diet. Because again, I always eat pretty well. But like I was telling you earlier, it was just like due to Corona. Like I was not moving around much. Like, because I'm telling you, I was like out and about everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Corona. <laughs> I was not out and about everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So I'm just eating more smoothie and that's it. I have to edit this video. I have two other, vi I did a hair video for you guys. I have to do another hair video addressing a, well, I don't even think she's one of my subscribers, but she left a comment on my video. And I wanna address it to definitely make, you know, some content about it. Um, Cause sometimes I feel like people think that they could just come on your channel and say whatever they want. You can to a certain extent, but I, I, I'm always open. To information but just make sure what you're saying is valid and make sure what you're saying is coming from a place of you want to help 
um, and offer help and have a picture, have some videos up. This is a community. That's how I feel. That's my opinion. So I'm going to address that vid- the, the comment. Um, I think I have some more. I can't remember. Honestly, I did a couple of videos and I don't remember. I got to look at my footage. Guys, you have to forgive me because I've really been doing quite a lot. Um, tomorrow, Sunday, I think I'm going to go to Dollar Tree again to get some things for the house and some things for the business. And that's about it. I'm just burning the candle. Let me show you. This is one of the candles that I got from Dwayne Reed. Guys, it smells so good. I think I have to take a couple of photos. Yeah, that's what I have to do. A quick photo shoot. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to edit videos. And that's it. That's really the end of this vlog. Maybe I'll put some photos in of my photo shoot. Um, I have to upload the lip glosses to the website because they're supposed to be available today. I'm kind of late on that. Um, that's really it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if I don't add anything else and this is the end of the video, thank you guys for watching. All my info, all my info is in the description. But as you guys know, charismaforyou.com, my new business with my cosmetics and other accessories and things like that. My Etsy shop customers, you can purchase your satin bonnets, head wraps, custom clothing, etsy.com slash shop slash charisma for you. Instagram personal is charisma for you. Business Instagram, which I would like more people to follow that if you are interested in business. If not, then don't follow it. Charisma for you fashion. And that's it. I love you all.